Aloha and welcome to Life Journaling in Dash for the 10th of June. I'm laughing because my wife just had a big yawn and we're in Seattle. Um, we're reading today Psalm chapter 1, 2, and 3 and also Ephesians chapter 6. I'm calling this one Take Up Your Shield. For your host, I'm David. This is Yuvella. It's cold. We have our jackets on. <laughs> it's not supposed to be that way because it's June, but it is. And so we accept it as it is. Today, talking about take up your shield, but before I do that, dear, would you please cover us with a word of prayer? Lord, thank you so much for bringing us safely to Seattle. <clears throat> thank you for, I'm sure that the farmers need the rain. So thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you for the opportunity to share with others what we have read today. We thank you for all the wonderful gifts that you've given us. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay. And if you yawn, I'll know it's not me. I think I'm about ready to yawn again. It's the cold weather, maybe. So today's scripture that caught my attention was Ephesians chapter 6. Pay no attention to her yawning if you're listening to this on the podcast or watching the vlog. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 14, 15, and 16. And that's just wrong. I shouldn't say pay no attention to you because that's the whole point of this. <laughs> Go ahead and share here. <laughs> but I won't count it against me. There's a lot of attacks coming, and I'll explain. It says in Ephesians 6, Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with a breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one, and they are coming. I added that part. Observation. Paul is giving advice to the Ephesians when he gives this description of how they can wrap themselves around with God as for protection. He goes on to say, pray in the spirit and to pray for him as he is an ambassador to God. My application, we are all ambassadors for God if we are believers. Recently, real <laughs> recent, this week, some attacks have come my way from other people. In addition, some strange things have occurred that have been works of the devil. There's just no other way to describe it. You mean They're like just a, not, this morning already trying. hitting your head twice? putting my head into uh, the ceiling, putting my head into a box, not being able to find things that, you know, it's one thing to lose your glasses, but it's another thing to just experience these things with your eyes open and knowing it and say, okay, this is just crazy. So recently we've had some attacks. They've come our way and I went to Uvalde yesterday and said, could we just pray? These attacks are coming against us and against other people. And I knew this was happening. So I thought we need to put on the shield of faith, basically. The attacks have continued against us and against other people the world over that we've had contact with. We continue to get prayer reports and prayer requests what is different is that we've recognized these attacks are coming and have given our stress and our pressure to God. Today's scripture puts into words my feelings of what am I doing while I'm taking up my shield, your shield, God. When hard times or situations happen, I'm going to continue to give everything to God and use my shield of faith to block those arrows, flaming arrows, as he says. My prayer, Father God, let everyone around me and that I've had contact with know that I love them and want them to have a personal relationship with you. We learned this week there are no outcasts, only those who have not heard the word of God or those who choose to go it alone without you. Lord, use me to reach these people with love or to use other people to reach them with your truth as well so they'll draw close to you. Amen. So even when these things happen, and some have been normal bad things that have happened, but others have been over the top. And it's just like, this is so strange. This is agents of the devil trying to pit like you 
against me and, and get me upset with you. Um, and so we just, we pray. We stopped everything and we prayed. I wrote basically about the same thing. I chose verses 11 and 12 in Ephesians 6. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. My observation. In 1 Peter 5 8, Peter tells us that Satan is like a roaring lion seeking to devour Christians. Well, Paul agrees with this and tells us that negatives, contradictions, disagreements, etc., they come our way. It's not people, but Satan using them to attack us so that we are useless for Christ. And many times people do not even know that they are that Satan is using them as bait. However, God warns us that we need to look at everything as though it is either God or Satan. There is no gray area. Therefore, when things happen that upset us, we need to be prepared beforehand. We need to recognize the situation as not from God, or the feelings we are beginning to form are not from God and be ready to defend ourselves. God tells us how to do this. We have God on our side. So our defense is the strongest available. God wants us to be at peace with others. So when he is standing there defending us, he wants us to see people involved as souls he wants in heaven. Next, we need to realize that God is there with us to fight this battle. This is where faith comes in. And as we face these situations, our only defense is the word of God. As the attacks come our way, we rely on God's scriptures to give us wisdom to stand firm. My application. How will I be changed by what I read today? What I just said is pretty easy to do when COVID is around and you're shut up in your house and not around people. However, once you open the door to your house and step out, as the saying goes, all hell breaks loose. I currently find myself in a situation where I find Satan's attack each moment of the day. I'm surrounded by people and I love, however, there is an uncomfortableness in the air. This uncomfortableness makes me feel uneasy and unsure of myself. I question what I say and I worry about my words being misheard. From scripture, I know this is a spiritual battle and I know from scripture, God is with me. My prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the, your word that tells me that Satan is deceitful and cunning. He will use anything or anybody to destroy and render useless a Christ follower. I love the people who I'm with and would give my life for each and every one of them. However, Satan wants to destroy this bond and is at work. He's working overtime to destroy this relationship. I bind Satan in the name of Jesus as an ass, and ask that the blood of Jesus Christ be poured upon my friends and family to protect them from Satan. I thank you, God, for revealing to me the spiritual battle that is happening, and I stand confident in your ability to bring victory to this battle. Amen. Part of this attack is coming because we're leading an Acts Bible study. And we're into the fourth week of an eight-week course teaching about Acts and how the Holy Spirit is real. And uh, we need to call on the Holy Spirit. And the devil doesn't want us to be successful in a lot of things. We had an appointment to be somewhere. And we'd been planning around this appointment for weeks, maybe even over a month. And we went there today and we were two hours early. <laughs> the place was closed, so we had to leave. We went to a fast food place to get some breakfast and they messed up the order. And while this would be kind of not normal, well, there's been a lot of these little things going on. Well, when they messed up the order, they didn't give us a discount, which is like a $5 discount. $5 discount, 
we went over it with them on the order. They said, is that right? I said, no, this is what I want, you know? And so we repeatedly went over the order and we recognize it as just another attack, not from that place, but it's these little things like hitting my head repeatedly. So there's, there's a lot going on. So pray for us. We'll continue to pray for those of you that listen and watch the podcast. And then tomorrow, we'll be right back here. Song with is Solomon. Chapter 5, 6, 7, and 8. And also uh, Philippians chapter 1 is where we'll uh, meet tomorrow. And I'll close this out with prayer. Father God, I ask that we all pick up our shields of faith and wear them to... Uh, block Satan wherever he's coming from and his agents and and this sounds far-fetched but it's not Lord because you're real and we know that we need to rely on you so we ask you to go ahead and protect us guide us and use us to reach other people so they have a personal relationship with you as well we ask this in the name of your son Jesus Christ amen amen